So now we're going to apply the position parameter to some of these tweens to offset their natural one after the other playback. And so just a refresher, here we have the uh, demo fading in, then the text, then the freds, and then the little time thing, all right? It's all very much one after the other. They're exactly back to back, all these tweens. We don't have any delays in there. Well, let's say that we want the freds to come in maybe two seconds after the text comes in. So I'm gonna go to the tween that does the staggering there. And after we close out that properties object there, I'm gonna add a comma so that I can add another parameter to that from method called the position parameter. And I'm going to say in quotes plus equals two. So this is a relative position, meaning it's going to start now two seconds after the previous tween ends, okay? So when I hit run, you're going to see that the uh, background fades in, the text, and then one, two, and then the freds come in, and then Sundays at 9 p.m. comes in immediately afterwards, all right? So this means start two seconds later than normal. Let's take this time thing here. Maybe I want it to start I don't know, maybe just a little bit sooner, all right? The duration's really quick, it happens really fast. Uh, just to make it easier to see, let me just uh, give that duration, I don't know, 0 0.8, why not? So here I'm gonna say, you know what? Let's start you a little bit earlier, and I'm going to, in quote, say minus equals one second. So now we're going to run. You're gonna see that after meet the freds, we still have that two second delay. The freds start but you'll see that Sundays at 9 p.m. came in just a little bit earlier. So again, once the threads start coming in, then Sundays at 9 p.m. comes in, sort of about halfway through. Now, if we wanted Sundays at 9 p.m., the time thing to happen as soon as the threads started coming in, well, I would have to subtract the duration of the previous tween, all right? well. Remember, it's kind of weird because there's six elements here. They have a duration of 0 0.8, a stagger of 0 0.1. So to actually figure out the, how long it takes for all of these things to stagger in, it takes a little bit of uh, math. Um, there's a new position parameter in GSAP3, and that is we have the less than sign here. And that means start at the beginning of the previous tween. So this is cool. Now when I run, you're going to see that this little time thing is gonna happen as soon as the threads come in, right about, boom, now. That animation is synced with this green guy coming up perfectly, all right? I didn't have to put any numbers in there, it works awesome. So what's cool about that is that I could change, I don't know, the stagger amount to uh, 0 0.5, we're gonna make it really slower, okay? and I don't have to change this thing around at all, all right? Whenever those that green guy comes in, you'll see the time comes in also, all right? I don't have to monkey around with different numbers in here. So that less than sign means start at the beginning of the previous tween. Now, this is also sort of a relative value in that I could say, go to the beginning of the previous tween, but we're going to add on 0 0.5 seconds. So it's going to be, all right, pretty much when the green guy starts, but just a touch afterwards. You know what, I'm actually gonna make it one second so that it's really easy to tell. So we'll just do that. We're gonna run. And now you're gonna see, once the green guy comes in, we'll wait one second, and then the blue thing starts, all right? So it's really powerful, this technique of using the position parameter of offsetting the start time of your tweens. There's one last position parameter I wanna go over, and that is an absolute time. So right here we have the uh, time element that we're tweening in, it's the last thing in our timeline, but I can put in just a number here. So I'm gonna say zero, and now when I run this, you're going to see that this starts at a time of zero when the background starts fading in. So that's what we call an absolute position if it's just a number. I could have it start at exactly a time of one, which means it's gonna start one second after everything starts animating in, and there you go. The secret to doing awesome animations and sequencing is the position parameter, all right? So play around with it and do a little bit of experimenting with the start files that I'm providing for you.